To get treated for TB, people have to take multiple antibiotics every day for a minimum of six months. One of the reasons why TB still kills over a million people each year is because the logistics of treating it are so difficult. I had the opportunity to spend some time in Peru working with a group that was doing clinical TB research. So I actually saw patients in clinics being treated for TB, patients who were hospitalized with severe forms of TB, and that experience had a really big impact on me. The place where my research is focused is trying to understand how the bacteria avoid being killed by antibiotics. One of the reasons that you have to take antibiotics for so long is because the bacteria enter these states where they're not growing and they're not very metabolically active. And that makes them intrinsically less sensitive to antibiotics. If we had a way of preventing the bacteria from entering these non-growing states, then they'd be much more sensitive to the antibiotics. And you might be able to use the same antibiotics that we use today and treat for a month instead of six months and kill all of the bacteria present because you wouldn't have any of these bacteria hiding in these non-growing states. So one of the problems that we found is that most of the big drug companies have disengaged from their efforts to try to develop better drugs for TB. And the main reason for this is because they don't have enough basic knowledge of how the bacteria work to design drugs that are gonna be more effective than those that we already have. So our long-term goal is that by providing a foundation of basic knowledge, we're gonna be able to give drug companies the information they need to re-engage in the process of trying to develop better drugs for TB that could shorten treatment. So this research has potential applications even beyond infectious diseases. There are a lot of bacteria in the environment that are doing things that are both helpful to us and harmful to us. And having a better understanding of how bacteria regulate their gene expression gives us this knowledge base that we can then potentially apply to a variety of different contexts. I feel like I'm exactly where I need to be. I feel like I found a place where I can use my own skills and talents to potentially improve the lives of people who are suffering from this really devastating disease.